To those watching the Golden State Warriors parade in Oakland, California, the ball that brought them victory in the NBA Finals was probably just an afterthought. But to Skip Harween, president of the Harween Leather Company, the basketball is his pride and joy. I'm going to save that one. You get a lot of that brand? It all starts here, where Harween carries on the family business, founded by his great-grandfather in 1905. The company is now the exclusive supplier of the cowhide leather used to make official NBA and NFL balls. So this is, this is last year's Super Bowl football. Harween's deal with the NFL is decades old. It makes up 35% of their business. Its deal with the NBA goes back just a decade. They got the contract from another tannery in Pennsylvania, but it wasn't easy. Even knowing what we knew about football, from the time we first sampled basketball until the time we got the business was 11 years. The director of sales at Harveen says Spalding, the maker of the official NBA balls, had to test the balls with their leather each time for an entire year. We would give them a sample, and a year later, they would say this is good or bad, and then we'd have to reformulate, and we'd get responses a year later again. Spalding eventually partnered with Harveen because the balls with its leather broke in much quicker. Now the company receives about 3,000 cattle hides a week, and it takes about three weeks before the hair is removed, hides are selected, split to desired thickness, retanned with a secret formula, dried, and embossed to give the leather its distinct pebbling. Attention to detail is crucial here. The hides have to be just the right thickness and free of any scars or scratches, anything that might produce a subtle change in texture. Harreen says it's a game of inches where little differences can have a huge impact. At the NBA level, you're probably working with the best players in the world. and, and they play so much and so well that they can feel and tell subtle differences that the rest of us wouldn't know. The company now tans enough leather to make about 30,000 basketballs a year. Most college and school teams around the country have switched to synthetic leather balls, but Harleen is still proud of his work. I turn on the TV and I see one of those balls and I go, you know, I had my little part in providing the product that the best players in the world are using. Rosa Kazan, CCTV, Chicago.